Hi, I'm Cho Xun Wang from National Jiao Tong University, Taiwan. I'm glad to present our work, HMD Live, Sharing in via Experience via Head Multi Projector for Asymmetric Interaction. This work is done with my colleagues Sir Fina Yang from NTU, Xin Yu Chen, Yuan Xun Ye, and my advisor Li Wei Chen from NCTU. Let me first introduce HMD Live with a short video. HMD Lite is a constant mobile HMD augmenting with a projector to reveal the VR user's experience in the physical environment. We aim to bridge the communication gap between VR and external user and further facilitate their interaction. Speaking of our motivation, with the rapid development of HMD technologies, today's HMD devices with inside out tracking are self content yet trackable. This allows users to immerse themselves in VR whenever and wherever they want. However, this immersion increases the chance of conflict with cohabitant external users in public spaces. Current solutions aim to externalize the virtual environment or the VR user's experience for external users. Past research such as front face and face display externalize the VR user experience or status by displaying content on the HMD's front face display. Adding front facing displays can preserve the interface mobility. However, this approach causes the display content and the interactable area to be restricted by the physical limitations of the VR user's head. Meanwhile, several works such as Shure VR and Reality Check have tried to display the virtual environment by projecting the virtual world into a room. But since these approaches embedded the projector in the environment, they are only suitable for in-situ VR experience. We hence propose HMD Lite, a concept HMD equipped with a steerable projector to reveal the VR user's virtual experience in the physical environment anytime and anywhere. The HMD Lite prototype consists of an inside out tracking HMD, a broken unit, a servo motor, and a stereo camera attached to the front side of the HMD. We hence present the interaction mechanisms in our prototype that facilitate users' communication. To notify the VR users of the external users' existence and their needs toward the virtual environment, external users are visualized in the VR users' view when they approach and enter the visible zone. They can hence communicate their needs verbally. After the verbal communication channel is established, VR user can create a viewport to the virtual environment for the external users to share their VR experience. External users can see or interact with the shared content through it. Here, we illustrate the viewport's attribute that can be assigned by users or application developers. A viewport's behavior can be either at anchor mode or tagalog mode. Anchor mode viewport will attach to a fixed spot in the environment, while Tagalog mode viewport will follow the VR user's head movement. After designing viewport behavior, the users can then assign the viewport position and size using the controller. Counter tag can be classified into two types as well. While the local view shows the VR user's first person view, the non local view contains other view types such as a top-down view of the virtual world or external messages. Here, let's take a look at how a viewport is assigned by the VR user. The VR user will first choose the viewport behavior. Then, a ray casting from the controller will appear to help with setting up the viewport position and size. Next, the VR user can choose the viewport's content type. While the first person view button will sync the VR user's view to the viewport, for the third person view, an, adjust an adjustable camera model will appear to capture the view from the external camera and sync, to sync it to the viewport. Now, the viewport can show the virtual environment content to the external users. During the communication, as you can see, since the projector is mounted on the head, the display itself is unstable and even may move towards to the VR user's body due to the head movement. Hence, we added a motor to the projector to help to stabilize the display during the experience. Now, we present four different applications to demonstrate HMD Lite's applicability. In our first application, VR Scene Design, 
HM Line is utilized in the scene design application to facilitate discussion between the VR user and external user. External users can view the virtual environment content and give the VR user suggestions via HMD Lite. In the second application, VR User Direction Indicator, HMD Lite works as a message delivery platform to inform nearby external users of the VR user's working direction. The third application is an active asymmetric game. In this game, HMD Lite works as a window to the virtual world and requires cooperation from both external and VR users to trample all the balloons. The fourth application is an adaption of a popular communication-centric VR game. In this application, HMD Lite provides external users with strategic information so they can collaborate with VR users. We conducted an exploratory user study. In this study, we investigated how users interact with HMD Lite by pairing participants to switch off on experiencing being both a VR and external user on the three applications. We aim to evaluate interface usability as well as user social presence during the asymmetric collaboration. Overall, most users enjoyed the interface and remarked that they found the novel way of interaction to be fun and engaging. For more detail about the study results, please see our paper. Here, we present some insights and challenges to the VR asymmetry collaboration enabled by HMD Lite. During the collaboration, the high asymmetric information raises the level of behavioral interdependence in communication. The high level of immersion made VR users focus on their text and hence feel disconnected from external users. This issue caused difficulty for you VR users to remain engaged in the collaboration with external users. While external users require the information shared from the viewport to catch up on the collaboration progress. These issues therefore cause the interaction to take on the structure of a pipeline with non-overlapping asynchronous segments of communication and actions. Therefore, both users express that they want to know more information from and take more actions in the interaction. Since VR users feel disconnected from the external user, they wanted to know more about external users' attention and comprehension and to interact more beyond just the viewport. While external users wanted to both know more information related to the communication with the VR user and exert more control in the interaction. There is still some room for improvement and future extension of HMD Lite. Mounting the projector on the HMD preserves interface capability but this causes the viewport's visibility to be highly influenced by VR user head movement. Placing the projector on other body parts such as the shoulder or waist allows the display to be not influenced by VR user head movement. In this work, we only focus on floor projection to study how the system aids users' communication. By rotating the projection motor, HMD light can display on different locations for diverse purposes as well which we can further explore in the future. To wrap up my talk, I would like to talk about our contributions. We present HMD Lite, a mobile solution to facilitate asymmetric VR interaction by projecting the VR user's experience into the physical environment. In this presentation, we show the HMD Lite prototype and four different applications related to VR and external users' collaboration. We conducted an exploratory study and provide our insights on how users are influenced by and how they collaborate in the asymmetric VR scenario. So thank you for your time watching this presentation. Here I would also like to thank all colleagues who worked on this project and my advisor. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions or comments.